Well, as you can see, this is my morning training session. I've done cycling, sup, and I'll get the electric hydrofoil out, possibly. But let's get down to business. You're having trouble in your relationship, male or female. Doesn't matter, one or the other. You are having trouble, and you can't put your finger on it. It's not violent, it's not abusive, but something's missing. Something is terribly missing or gone horribly. Something is going horribly wrong. Um, excuse me, viewers, just for a minute. And so you are in a bit of a quandary. You're panicking a bit. You don't know whether you're coming or going. This happens a lot, a lot more than you think. And so you're starting to go into stress, you're starting to go into duress. Now, what this causes us to do is to try harder, to try and um, get some uh, a better motivation and application out of the person that we're with, and you will get that initially, and then they'll drop back or you'll drop back this could be you you could be wondering why do I keep wrecking my relationships well it's got everything to do with your sinful nature it's got everything to do with the powers of darkness and how they infiltrate your mind it's got everything to do with what's happening in those dimensions in the other person how they're managing their sinful nature um, what the powers of darkness are doing to influence them. And you both could be going through an individual battle, irreconcilable battle. You have to understand that the sinful nature is irreconcilable. It will not cooperate. It's got no intention of cooperating because it's unable to. It's at enmity with all that is good and it pops up when you least expect it and when you realize usually it's too late. That's how the sinful nature works and it's aggravated, empowered and given inspiration by devils and demons, demons, devils, whatever you want to call them, the powers of darkness. Look at these beautiful ducks. Beautiful. This is what you want to get out and do too. Get out in the sun, do your exercise, enjoy the wildlife. I'm on the central coast, New South Wales, Australia. Don't judge, just try and figure out what the actual problem is. Now, once you've identified your sinful nature and realized that there's more going on inside you than what you realized and it's not good news, then you need to be able to crucify it. And you crucify it at the cross. The Apostle Paul said in Galatians chapter 3, I'm pretty, well, it could be verse 20, something around there. I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ that lives within me. It also says in John, the Gospel of John, chapter 3, that God so loved the world, everyone, that whosoever shall believe in him, whoever believes in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. One of the things about Christianity is, and this is where a lot of people get it wrong, you'll always be told that it's what you do, how much you do. The harder you try, the more you'll get on with God. The more you do, the better you'll go with God. If you do more, God will do more. If you sin less, you'll be blessed more. That's not the gospel. The good news of the gospel is 
in the Lord Jesus Christ and his finished work, what he has done, all our issues within ourselves, between ourselves and between God have been dealt with, resolved, finished, never to be dealt with again, once and for all, for time and eternity. Done, finished. Jesus actually meant it when he said it is finished. He meant it. And so, therefore, we enter the rest, God's rest. We don't have to try and justify ourselves or sanctify ourselves or um, anything else like that. We'll wash ourselves of sins because God has done that in Christ for us through faith. All other religions require you to pay some kind of homage, some kind of financial contribution. Most of them waste it. They say to you that you need to do this for your God and that for your God. God needs nothing from you. He done it all himself. It had nothing to do with mankind. He did it all himself, all of it. He paid for it himself for what's happened to us in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the good news of the gospel. But we get mixed up. We have to add bits and pieces. I remember for years I drove my pastor around the van, Pastor Barry Follett, bless his soul. There was nothing we could do except believe and I wouldn't have it until you get brought to your knees and you realize he was right there is nothing I can do it's all in Christ even my faith is a gift even my belief is a gift and so it is with a relationship it's not too far dissimilar to that You can't buy somebody else's love, but you can ruin the love that you have by the things and ways in which you behave. If you become an addict or, and start losing your health and mental um, stability, that's going to bring unrest to the relationship. People want stability, safety, security. They don't want unsurety and toxicity. Although there is a large element of people now that are attracted to that and pay the consequences of that. I'm trying to address people that are genuinely trying to work out where their relationships keep going wrong. And sometimes it's your fault, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's both. Whatever the case is, you're at the mercy of your capabilities of trying to work it out the other person's capabilities of trying to work it out and what resolution you can come to. And sometimes, unfortunately, there is no resolution. Sometimes, unfortunately, you're gonna be treated unfairly. You're gonna be ripped off, you're gonna be abused. And this, of course, um, is gonna bring trauma, upset and sadness. It's learning and becoming accustomed to the fact that there's a lot of things that we can't change in ourselves that we need help with from God in Christ, that we can surrender and rest in Him, knowing that everything's going to be all right in Him. Um, you might use substances and things like that for, as a cure. They're going to cause problems within themselves as well, so I'd advise you to try and find a way out of that. Except where it's gone bad and what's causing it, identify what's causing it. There could be a large element of unseen covert interference. Come back to yourself, recognize where you've contributed. If you can't resolve, let the other person go, go no contact. Come back to yourself. Bring your health back to yourself. 
and restart and reinstate your position within yourself and hopefully possibly your relationship with God will follow you which it does Christ will follow you the Holy Spirit will never leave you or forsake you and maybe with a bit of luck you might find the right person the next time